Good afternoon. Today is a Tuesday and I've just realised it's five o'clock and I haven't filmed anything. Oops. Uh, so yeah, today's been a pretty heavy day. I have been getting a lot of Patreon stuff sorted. Yes, I'm a little bit behind, but you know, it wouldn't be Lucy if I wasn't behind. And I always deliver. It's maybe not that dope. But yeah, I'm getting all sorted. I'm nearly done now. I just... Oh. I just get so angry at myself every month. I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. I've been busy. But it's no excuse. Because if it wasn't for Patreon, I wouldn't be able to afford any of the YouTube stuff I do. Or the, to justify the time I spend on it. So I really, really need to get my act together. So from now on, I, I set myself like a little, like, four fits. So like, if I'm late, announcing a winner i announce two winners and therefore it costs me more money and it's technically like i'm finding myself so it like kind of incentivize me to do it on time now the, the rewards the the lucky dip things that i do the raffle winners i have actually been doing them on time but actually sending out stuff not so much so i really need to get my act together but it's done i mean the last one there that's this month so it's only that pile i need to send and then i'm caught up i'm up to date which i am nearly done nearly done just need to get some Polaroids together, which are in the house. I forgot to bring them, so I can post them out tomorrow. If you're still waiting on your stuff, I'm so sorry. I am so, so, so sorry. Also, I've officially become a dirty YouTube person now with my little pop socket. But it has a pineapple on it, so it's good. It's fine. It's fine. Why aren't you focusing? Yoo-hoo. So my friend Richard, I'm pretty sure he is psychic because today, today, or maybe I'm psychic. <gasps> I'm psychic, I'm the psychic one. Basically today, my friend, I was talking, saying that I love these like blind books. So like they're wrapped in brown paper and they'll say something like, as an example, they'll say like, screenplay, romantic, English classic, and that'd be Romeo and Juliet. And it's meant so you don't judge a book by the cover and you like, you can, you pick a book based on what you want and then you can be in for a nice prize. And I love the idea of this. And I always said like, if I ever did like a little thing online, maybe it'd be that, I don't know. But I came into the shop today as I was talking about this on the way to the shop. And I had one waiting for me and it's amazing. And so this came in yesterday, so maybe I'm the psychic one. But let's, shall we open it and see what's in it? My hair is like a lioness today. It's like a proper mane. <laughs> I love the writing on it. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. It says, what does it say on it? It says, romance and travel are truly gripping and powerful tale. So it's by Paula McLean and it's Circling the Sun from the author of The Paris Wife. I love it. This looks like a new book. It's either secondhand that I'm in condition or this is with new books. That is amazing. This is something I've never picked up, I've never heard of. To be fair though, this seems like the type of book I genuinely would read. But maybe I would because it's romance and traveling. But yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Richard. I am genuinely made up with that. Thank you. I'm also psychic. So I'm just in Pizza Express at the moment and we've just had yummy cheese and now I'm waiting for pizza which also has cheese on so I am happy. I am making Chris play the alphabet game where you've got to go through the alphabet and name everyone but we're doing superheroes so it'd be like Ant-Man, Batman, Catwoman and we're currently on N. 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 And I am lost. Hmm. N. If only there was a way for like the people of the world to just communicate I'm, I'm that person, I'm sitting behind the phone going, how could you not pick her up? Think DC. Well, that doesn't help me, does it? <laughs> no, no, I guess not. And <laughs> Well, there's a, there's a, a Marvel. I'll shut up. You've done so well until now, I will admit. <laughs> Where, this is meant to have two cheeses on it. Where the f*** is my cheese? I just did the most non-British thing ever and I got returned my pizza. I feel awful, but it was hot. Are you enjoying your food? Mmm. I am at least. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm cheesy with this pizza pizza. 
I will cut you. You want it? I will cut you. Don't tell me you're filming like that. Yeah. That, no. I won't Don't. use it. It's bad. Don't film like that. So, Lucy's not very happy at the fact that during our little game, she couldn't come up with a name for you. And the bloke that just watches the odd film schooled her. You didn't school me. It's a game. What was going on? It's a thing. You've got, you've got, like, you've needed the help throughout this entire game. And I've been really nice giving you and making it a game. You think it's one just because my brain turns on for one second. And you're like, oh, I schooled you. And you started doing a dab and just being an app like, to make something I'm never playing a game with you again. That's why I'm not happy. It's not that I couldn't think of it. It's like you. Sore loser. Sore loser. I love my football manager, but what you can't do is the good sportsmanship that I've had for this entire game. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. I'm not putting up with it. I'm not putting You're kidding me. Right, I'm not playing this game with him anymore. Because he's actually <laughs> He's just he had V and he went Vixen and I went, you're thinking of a reindeer and he went, sounds like a superhero though. Googled it, apparently he was a superhero. That's called cheating. And then he went, he got Zed and he just went, Zebra. Then Googled it. There he is. There is Zebra. <laughs> That's not fair. That's um, who is that? Is that DC or Marvel? I'm writing to all of them. I'm writing to all of them. I'm complaining. I don't know if you can hear that, but that sounds like a really creepy ice cream van and it's just turned midnight. That is horrifying. Uh, so it turns out that scary uh, ice cream truck music was actually some sort of uh, PR stunt or something about something. I don't know, but I wasn't going crazy. It was a creepy ice cream van music and it was like on the road over or something. I do not know. That was also one of the most upsetting pizzas I've ever had at Pizza Express. Like, I can't, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud that I stood up for it and I got it changed. But even the one I had after that wasn't great. Their starters are incredible. Their garlic bread and cheese, insane. Their dough balls and butter, But their pizzas are shit. <laughs> sort it out. Did I just call it Pizza Hut? I'm at Pizza Express. That's how bad it is. I can't even be bothered remembering which restaurant I went to. <laughs> But I should remember because I'm not going to go back. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, don't forget to give it a like. And um, subscribe if you like girls who get bested at comic book naming by someone who had never read a comic. I'm not okay with it.